Hello everyone, uh, PC Pick 30 here. Um, I thought I would start a, um, a sub tutorial series on programming GSC, like the basics. It seems that everyone is copy and pasting codes from everyone and all this other stuff. And in reality, it seems that no one knows what they're doing. And to me, I think that programming is not really that hard. So what I would really like to do is teach you guys on the simplest way on how to program in GSC. GSC is Central Game Street Coding, and it's a um, it, and GSC comes from the Quake C programming language, which is originally made for the Quake game by ID. If you ever have gone on Call of Duty Four or something like that and see copyrights to ID. You can know why. Quake is rip of Call of Duty. I mean, uh, correct me. Call of Duty is rip of Quake. My bad. So, I thought let's start. Um, the first thing you need to know for programming is in general variables and the types of variables. Now, before we go all technical on things, really all computer all programming means is just instructions. It's logic. That's all a computer has. It's do this or do that. And it just checks things, and it stores data, information, does calculations, does mathematics, does different sorts of things. But you people seem to tend to make things hard because they make it hard. But if you break it down into simple, uh, simple sections, it's really not that hard in general. So the first thing I would like to do is show the basic data types for. Um, GSC, and these are actually applied to nearly any programming language. So the first we'll do is a string. In GSC, every single line, waits most of the time, um, will require a semicolon. That means the end of that line. If you don't put that, you'll get a syntax error. Most of you know that in one way or another. Now, whoopsie, G H. Now, you probably recognize something like this in the past. A string, in general, is just text. It's just, uh, that's all it is. It's, it's just a, um, it can be, it's just, yeah, text in general. That's all it really is. And I found that on a small note that it seems that in Call of Duty a variable as a string can have a limit of like 255 characters in it not sure the exact number but I do know there is a character limit for a string variable now the next type is a number that's a number setting it to 1, setting it to 5, whatever now there's also you can have like six 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 or yeah that's it, it, you guys know that as a decimal and programming that's referred to as a float Not really that hard in general. Now, a variable in general is is like a, is like, for example, in um, algebra when you were solving for x or solving for y, x equals one, y equals five, or something of that sort. That you can think of x and y as variables. They're something. They're like a variable. They're like a letter that or something of that sort that contains value. Same thing here, they, but these contain different values. They can, contain different types of data. You can also think the same thing when you're doing spreadsheets. Uh, a cell might have a string, it might have text, it might have a date, it might have integer, it might have a formula. It all comes together. It's just different terminology. It's really all the same. So you have a string.
string, you have an integer, you have a decimal. Um, if you want to say if someone's religious, is tall, uh, we might have a very rosy tall for asking if a person's tall or something. And for this, we can put a proper there. For that, we can put true. Now, these are a uh, true is only would only have true or false. That's what you refer to as to a boolean, true or false. Um, let's see now. I've covered string, integer, decimal, uh, boolean, let's see, um, now, now one interesting thing that you may have noticed is that for Call of Duty, you can store a reference to a function. So for a function A B C or something that has some code uh, there, what we could do and it basically stores a reference to func to A B C. More or less a reference is is a function to run stores basically is saying basically is kind of linked now to kind of stores the function ABC and if you ever know from GSC you can actually go and do self and basically what that does is that set that those brackets mean that that variable contains a function um, so and it runs that function so that those are commonly used so that variable can have can have store function pretty much and and pretty much run it and pass whatever to it so if you ever know that that's really what that is not that it's actually very useful for the game and for multiple things not going to go into exactly what but I have seen it is very handy of a function and if we did not have that then mod menus as you know would not be possible now Here's what's really the most complicated thing that people have trouble understanding is arrays. Um, now say, now say your um, that now say your mother wanted you to go to the grocery store to get some get get or uh, want to um, get some food, um, and you got a list of something. Well, that list is an array in general. So if you have five items and it's like red milk water But just says random food in general, then basically those that's just a list. And uh, and in general, those are all the those are all items in the list. Now when it for programming in arrays, you basically an array is a list, but the contents of the list are variables, not exactly uh, not exactly items. And since the contents of the list are a variable, they uh, then what a variable is applies to it. So a variable can have a uh, text, integer, decimal, a boolean value, or a function. So in general, an array or a list could have a variable that contains that data. So, so for in GSC, if we want to do, we can make our array. That that syntax, the brackets right there, specify that that, do, to, uh, that 
our array is now an array. That's its data type. That's what type of variable it is. Now you can have our array, the first item equals red, a string. Now hold up. What's with this zero? Um, usually a list starts at one, not zero. Well, every single in any language, arrays always start at zero. That's the uh, that's the first of it. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. It never will start at one. Now one is can be an item in the list, number one, but zero is always the first. So whenever we're doing this, we increase the list, we increase it by one, we increase it down, put link. See my bad. It must be two. I skipped the number. My bad. One, two, three, four. Uh, O N I O I O N. Now, array now has now the contents of array now would be zero red one. Milk to water to cereal for onion. It's, and it starts at zero. The first one is zero. That's really all the array is. And, and so we added five. So we added five right here. Of course, we can. It doesn't have to be a string. If we want to know item, we can be any variable, any type of any type of variable. So, what if we did that? Recognize here, create an array. We have a it's an array or a list inside of a list. What we refer to that is as a multi-dimensional. So it has multi. It's a multi-level list. So, so we have a. So we have item five. It's another. It's an, it's an array or slash list and it can have items so that's really how that works not that hard I don't think now I there is some another concept to an array that I will not go into right now possibly in a um, ex possibly into a you know, a part two of this because I am kind of running out of time on the YouTube moment here but this is all really it is string integer decimal true false a uh, function a function that is stored to a variable and a list array so Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to um, visit getamind.com. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me if I'm doing bad. Tell if I'm if I if I'm sucking at doing these tutorials. Tell me if I'm too loud. Cause I know I think in my last video I was way too freaking loud after I listened to it. Tell me if I'm being too technical. I'm trying to be simple here. I know this stuff can be very technical wise, but in general it doesn't have to be. So if you're still watching me, give me feedback. Uh, this is PC Big 30, signing off.